No. How am I going to sign it? Make me I, have have, I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, that song is not too bad. Hey Let's guys, say, are you guys enjoying yourselves there? <laughs> yes, well, of we course, are. Of course, man. We're too cool. Welcome to Talking Trucks. It's Thursday again. We're trying to get oh, back on schedule. I'm sorry I'm late. I had your hair and makeup all over again. Anyway, we're well, here. you got donuts, but uh, I got donuts. Uh, are those rubber donuts? Watch me. No, I right on top of the head. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, it was in the half inch of his head. You just missed it. Guys, today we're, uh, as always, answering truck questions that you sent to us. We also have some news to talk about. Yes. As far as upcoming shows, upcoming trucks. And so much that we can't talk about. And some stuff we cannot <laughs> talk about that quite yet. Yes. Um, so, but the headline question today is about basically a power wagon. Cool, cool. Um, we, we just have, got back from Ford, but we can't talk about it. Yeah, we, ha we went to a Ford event uh, just this week. Uh, that news is going to come out next week yes. on Tuesday, so stay yeah. tuned for that. Yeah, videos and everything. Yes, have all so that you'll have it on Mr. Truck TV. Yes, well, yeah, right, YouTube, Mr. Truck TV. Yeah, but next week we'll have Chevy news that we can't talk about next week. <laughs> well, yeah. we'll talk about it next week. Well, you're week. not here Thursday. You're off in some I, I know. I, I'm, I'm going to be at the Chicago Auto Show. We'll, let's start the show off immediately uh, with um, this question from Chris, and it boils down to... Do I keep my 2011 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon or go for the Power Wagon? Um, so, 2011, he, but but now he needs to tow an 8,000 pound trailer. Well, is his a four door or is that a two door? Unlimited? I don't know. Unlimited is a four door. Okay, so, so well, now, so, so, but listen, wait, 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 wait. So, so he has a budget. He just got a bigger trailer, 8,000 pound travel trailer. He's got a budget. He cannot pay 65 grand for a Power Wagon. Really? Which, which you might, well, power wagons can be optioned to that price. Well, if you can't buy it, then why are we talking about it? No, no, but wait a second. Um, power wagon is his favorite because if he gets a power wagon, he can be comfortable letting the Jeep go because it's an off-road truck. But he needs to be uh, do some towing. And the 2019 power wagon, the new one, is attractive. Yes, it has an 8-speed. Yes. So it'll get a little bit of fuel mileage. I mean, I don't know what he's getting on his Wrangler, but that's a whole... 8,000 pounds. What's the capacity of the Wrangler? It can't be much. 3,500. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's a little mm -hmm. difference there. It's not going to work. So the Wrangler's not going to work. But the good news for 2019, so Ram is redesigning their heavy-duty trucks yeah. from the ground up, really, because they've updated the frame. Uh huh. They have, like you said, a new transmission. A 12-inch screen. 12-inch screen you can get, but but not you know he doesn't want that $65,000 oh, power that. wagon. Well, so, so we know what you can do. Can get, yes, it gets tell, that work tell truck. Him. The work truck is called the tradesman. Tradesman. <laughs> Whoa, you Jeez. just hit. You oh, just I hit the, mic. the microphone. Is it no, still no, live? don't do that. You're fine. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that uh, the tradesman is of good value. That is the one that I would buy. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how many amenities he wants, but if he's used to an uh, to an unlimited Rubicon. He's used to the fancy stuff. But uh, the power wagon is rated was at least 8,000 pounds, isn't it? Yeah, Zach? So just to add a couple more points that Chris had there, in order to get the power wagon, you can see he'll have to trade in the Jeep. Mm -hmm. So his Jeep is paid off. It's heavily modified. He loves it. But he'd be willing to possibly trade it in on a power wagon because it can tow at least more than the Jeep. Oh, and it's still an off-road capable truck. Although, like you said, the tradesman with the power wagon package might be a good compromise there on price and capability. That should get yeah. under 50000 I think. Yeah, so um, so now, a yeah. tradesman truck, which is a crew cab 4x4, can be had currently with a power wagon package. Right, right. Which means you get the heavy-duty axles, you got lockers, you got the winch, and that continues for 2019. Yeah. They're, they're maintaining that package, so you can get the tradesman, you can get the still the 6.4-liter Hemi, you could still get... Uh, well, now the eight-speed automatic, which should improve fuel efficiency a little bit. Right, and it's getting better. You know, it used to be yeah. a 430 rear end, which is terrible gas mileage. Now it's a 410, so it keeps getting better each uh, change on that power wagon. Yes. And they're actually pretty comfortable. They're nice and tight. I mean, you can go out and tear the crap out of it on the road, and it still rides nice. I mean, I'm surprised. And that's a progressive coil on the rear end of that. Yeah. So, so you know, it's a, it's, it'll it's support your trailer very well. I mean, it's a know. different suspension from a regular heavy duty. Yeah, right? it's not rated much over, is it? Up to ten thousand, so, or what's it rated? So yeah, at? so towing. they improved the towing ratings and the payload ratings on the 19 truck. 
because they got some of the weight out of it yes. with a new frame yeah. um, and an aluminum hood and some other tricks because the winch is now lighter by, by about 28 pounds. They saved in the winch. Right, it's not a cooler winch, it's uh, a rope winch instead of a cable winch. Synthetic, so it's a safer winch. Yeah, yeah, synthetic cable. So the rating, the towing rating is about 10,600. Yeah, so that's, he's got that's a little good. bit of room there. Right. But the payload is about 1,600 pounds. That's always, well, that's kind of tricky. That's the problem with the half ton segment is their payload sucks. I mean, they'll pull these big numbers on a trailer, but you have to be like the only guy driving it. So you'll have something, you'll have to really calculate that well. I have to do the chicken because uh, Luke, one, two, three, oh, four, then they five bucks. Thanks, Luke. That's awesome. Luke dash O. You want to know um, something about a Ranger and a short bit? And I'm interested in the new Ranger, but the crew cab that I want is only available with a short bed. Do yes. a video on the short bed versus long bed capabilities. Yeah. That's well, one, you're right, one Luke. One foot, so yeah. there's only one wheelbase in the new Ranger, so you can get a shorter extended cab. You call them super, super cabs? Cab, well, so does Ford. The guys who okay. make the truck call okay. them super cabs. And then the Super Crew, is it? Uh, is it Crew Cab? Well, I don't. Did they call that Ranger a Super Crew? Heck yeah. Well, there you go. You're figuring so his names out now. Super Crew only comes with a short bed. It's and just a five ball. Foot. Yeah, it's a five foot, foot bed. It's one foot. Five foot or six foot. So, can we do a video about it? Well, yes, but it's a little silly because it's the same wheelbase, five feet versus six feet. It's right. just the so, volume of the yeah, bed. It that's depends it. if you can get by with the Super Cab. If that's fine for you, if you don't have to haul full grown adults in the back. You're not going to haul them on a crew cab, a super crew either. But, yeah, I mean, I've had many. Back in the old days, that's all they had was super cabs, and I had a lot of them, yeah. and I loved them. Little jumper seats in the back, and I put the grandkids in there. That's usually where you throw all your crap. You know, you always mm -hmm. fill trucks full of crap, and that's where you put it. So, final answer. Let's close this uh, question for Chris, because um, a lot of concern here is, um, will the power wagon handle this weight? The answer is yes. It's going to be close. Right. Right, on payload, because... Um, I think. Um, well, take that. Give two them the people, number. Yeah. Two, two people, right? Well, give them the numbers. 15 fifteen percent times eight thousand. Why fifteen? Uh, well, you want to go ten? Yeah. Okay. Go there's eight hundred pounds. Eight hundred pounds. Your, so your payload is twice that, right? Yes. So now you have eight hundred pounds for you and your family. Family. If you want to put something in the bed, you want to take the mother-in-law. All those things. Figure out what they weigh. Go weigh your mother-in-law. Go weigh everybody in oh, your family. You're taking no. them. And then you'll know exactly if you're safe or not. Yes. And on, on the I don't recommend weighing your mother. Don't want to weigh your mother. No, I do not recommend I that. Thought everybody did that. So I would say yes uh, because I think uh, this is just him and his wife. Okay. Um, so in that case, I would say yes. Go for the power wagon. Do the tradesman. Yeah. Go for it. Well, they can have kids now. Him and his wife now. They got room in that power wagon with these the payload he's got. Or you can put some four wheelers in the bed. Figure what that weighs. That's what we do a lot of times. Yeah. So by the way, um, we have a don donation from Luke. You can help us out using Super Chat for five bucks. We'll put your name on the board. And don't forget if Luke is already here, he might be already here. Let me add him. Why aren't you doing this board in alphabetical order? What is the problem? Do you want me to rewrite? He's there, Andre, but we'll add the total to the. Yeah, yeah I'll add the Put his total. name on there again. We uh, love for it. 10 bucks, you get the sticker, bumper sticker, 25 bucks patches. Yep, yep. Truck and car, and 50 bucks hat. There you go. So that's always cool. And a um, thousand bucks the chicken. A thousand dollars for the chicken, guys. You heard it here first, right? Yeah. Is that correct? That's correct. You are okay. correct. All right. So um, let's move on to the next question really quick before we hit some news. Uh, the next question comes actually from the chat room from Brian. Um, <laughs> he says he has a very similar decision to make. He's got a 2009 Jeep Wrang Wrangler JK Sport and uh, also a 2014 F-150 FX4. And I don't know whether to keep them both or trade them both in for a power wagon. Hmm, because, well, you're combining a pickup truck into an off-road vehicle. Yes, I say yes. Do you going to trade both of them or sell both vehicles, the Wrangler and the Ford? Well, that's what he's asking. Should he trade both of them in? Well, yeah, and, you know, we, we talk about this in our book about, you know, what it takes to buy vehicles and make yeah. sure you treat them as separate transactions. Figure out what your trade's worth, and that's A, and then what you can buy a new one for, and that's B. Don't put them on, like, I always like to combine them and confuse you. Yeah, because when, you yeah. Get, when you're there at the dealership, you know, they may wave their hands. Right, about, right. You want to yeah. see the numbers. You want to see what you're buying and what is the bottom line on that, and then what they were really giving. Because out of mine, I, I separated them out, and that, that's how I like to do that. But trading off two ones is a little different. And make sure you do your homework first to see if you can sell them on Craigslist or someplace else. That, get a little and, bit more money. Yes, and right. see what the cash value could be of it before you go to the dealer. Because he's not going to tell you, 
you know, what your best price on that trade is. Right. It's going to tell you some other weird number. But yeah. do your homework, and, you know, especially trading two vehicles, that gets a little complicated. Yeah, you and know? also, if you, I guess there's a question of buying a used power wagon, too. Yeah. So maybe, maybe well, you could trade one of the vehicles in and get a yeah. used power wagon if you really want that truck. And be very careful there, because if it's a power wagon, it's kind of like a Corvette or a Mustang. Somebody had it before, you may have just tore that crap ass out of it. Maybe they jumped it. Maybe yeah, they chased so coyotes you really like want you to inspect, yes, inspect your vehicles. I wouldn't buy one of my vehicles after it was used. Chicken. Oh, 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 so got a hat. Love the show. Just asking how much for Mr. Truck's hat. Oh, is it priceless? Oh. <laughs> this, they, if this hat's what he's talking about, this is a Cobra. This is out of Australia. This is a Cobra. This is made out of a bunch of great big giant rabbits that they have in Australia. So this hat, you could, it would get, it would take five hundred bucks to buy this hat. But if you want one of those Mister Truck.com hats like I wore last week with a flag and all that stuff, yes, yeah. we'll make you a deal on that. But uh, yeah, this hat, this hat this is, is all uh, broken in. And it's, I got the, it's valuable. It's curved on the back so it can work on headrests on these trucks because trucks are not made for cowboy hats. So you have to modify. You only want a three inch brim, three inch crown, and you want that back. Poke down so the rain can run down your neck. <laughs> uh, Man of War uh, had a question here in the chat. I knew a horse named Man of War. Really? Yeah, I didn't know uh, he could type. This is awesome. Wow. He, was, well, he won you. the Kentucky Derby Man do, of War back in the, like 1930 or something. Do you see any performance ramp products coming down the line between 2020 and 2022? Heck yeah. For what? The Jeep or the Pirate? Well, I guess they're different companies. They're not the same company. Uh, so which, which particular well, Ram brand Prom is? Ram promised a TRX. Hellcat, oh, oh, supercharged V8 powered yes. truck by that time frame. So, yes, we don't know anything about it yet oh, other wow. than some leaked information. Yeah. So, and, and if, yes. if, if, he's, if, if the marketing guys are on top of the FCA, they will give you all that cool stuff that's on TRX and sell it to you as an off-road package. They might. Just like or what? piece by piece. Yeah, like the Bison thing and the Colorado right. thing. Right, ZR2. That ZR2 that you can buy all those performance parts that the racers use. Right. So if TRX has some sharp marketing guys, we'll see that coming. And I think they do because they have the Mopar division. That's right. right? They know all about selling you parts. So right. yes, so yeah, that's a very good lift point. Lift kits, point. shocks, tires, exhaust, exhaust cold air intake, yeah. everything. I'm sure you, you're going to have a lot of performance parts. I think, um, I think Tommy's falling asleep. Watch this. Oh, jeez, look at that. You hit him in the nose. Right between the eyes. Right in the head. Look, he's, he's, he's starting to fall so, over. So, uh, uh, one more donation. Thank you guys very much. Um, I'm going to oh, write oh, your name as oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm choking the chicken. Careful, don't touch the mic. Okay, touch the mic. Um, Shall we move on, Andre? Yes. Oh. You want to hit the news? <laughs> oh, the news. Yes. The news. That's all the news that's fit to fit the print <laughs> is Toyota Tacoma is a teaser at the Chicago Auto Show. Holy cow, I guess you have the inside scoop on that or you will know what it is. I, well, so we have one image. That's next week. Yeah, that's next Stay week. Stay tuned, because so, he's gonna go sneak under and pull all those silk all the blankets sheets, up and all the sheets. figure out what they're hiding. So but, Toyota has released one image. One image. And this is it. Well, that's the one with the little skirt on the back like the Scottish No, guys, no, that's not the oh, skirt. That's else? That was oh. a prototype. Okay. No, no, they have new lights. They're showing off new lights on the 2020 Tacoma. You see oh my like, gosh, it's got new lights. I'm so excited. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> new lights? I've we waited all these years for so new lights. It's coming out next okay. week in Chicago. We're going to be there. Um, you're not making it to Chicago no, this year. No, Chicago, you um, know, it used to be Ram always introduced trucks there, and then they kind of quit that. So I don't know. Is that, and, it was, and Jeep was introduced in LA. So, yeah, so I guess Tacoma is going to be the big deal at the Chicago show. Well, and also the heavy duty trucks. But we, we're going to see them before Chicago, you and I. Right. That, yeah, so, that's kind of coming. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting because also Chevy Heavy Duty 2020 is going to be in Chicago as well. Yeah. Brian Cole just donated 10 bucks. Holy cow. Thank, the thank you for answering my question, guys. You gave me more to think about. Yeah. Well, thank you, Brian, for sending your question in. and. I'm glad that, oh, yeah, well, that's some food for thought, but the tradesman ram with the power wagon package is an interesting proposition. Yeah. Um, oh, and the other oh, news. Oh, the news. The other news. Ford predicts 1,200 sales in January? Of the Ranger. Well, they said the Ranger, they're going to start paying overtime. Was that the third shift? They were going to go nuts on building these things. Heck I guess yeah. somebody's buying them. So in February, they said they're going to overtime the plant in Wayne, Michigan. That's right. To build the Ranger. And they said, you know, they call them hand raisers or people with interest. Right. 300,000 people raised their hand. 
for the new truck. Wow, that's cool. Well, you know what else they sell? That's top secret. But they saying that last year, he had a, everything they sell and trucks. It was like a million units, or was it more than a million? Yeah, it was some for F series. Yeah, yeah that's right. So oh, just know, for F series. Yeah, um, not they, transits or anything else. I believe so. They talked wow. about global sales, right? Because you, oh, oh. you and I have focused on the United States. Okay, so usually. the whole world, they sold a, a, a million, million trucks. In the old days, before the recession, back in 2008, they used to sell a million trucks here. That was well, before well, the now recession. Well, they're close. Yeah. They yeah. sold 909,000 in the United States and a million F-Series in the world. That's interesting. And now the Ranger comes into play, so that's going to be interesting. Now, how do they measure these guys that are raising their hands? Do they go out and I think satellite no, and look? And no. they, they call on a speaker and say, who's going to buy a Ranger? Is that how, how do they do that? No, that's a little old school, that stuff. They don't do that uh, anymore? No, I think uh, on their website when you say sign, sign oh. me up or send me updates. An icon has a raised hand. Is that yeah, that's a icon? raised hand. Oh, I see. Okay. That's a raised hand. Well, good. I was kind of worried in how they did that. But. Um, some guys are here um, adding some comments in Russian, and they said that they really want your chicken. The chicken is a thousand bucks, according to Mr. Truck. You can so, read Russian. Uh, wow. Yeah, I can read some Russian. I just see a bunch of consonants. Uh, of I'm not dollar. Oh, so one thousand bucks. Okay, there you go. Um, so we'll stop choking if you buy it. We'll stop. <laughs> we'll stop choking that chicken. Uh, one more news, it. right, Zach? Yeah, but before we move on, one more thing about the Ranger. Just a question for you guys. I'm curious because this is the first month they're selling the Ranger. Uh, how do you think it's going to do against the Tacoma in its first like full month of sales, like February, March, oh, know, near the end of the you, quarter? Oh, you mean, is that one of the new headlines? Well, he just no, asked talking about the current sales. How's oh, it going to ramp up? I, I, like, well, perhaps if you've got new headlights at the Tacoma, you have no chance of beating them. <laughs> but anyway, that could be. But I, I so think, they, well, they, pro, they um, forecasted 1,200 tr Rangers in January. Yes. But that was just ramping up. And right? that's, that's people that have been trying to get one for a long time, and they probably yeah. backlogged that first month. Yes. Right, right. But the factory is just starting up, right? They're they just are. building the first month. Um, Zach is asking, you know, how quickly it's going to ramp up. I'm betting it's going to be pretty quick. Be well, considering that they're already going to overtime the plant in February, yeah. which is tomorrow. Um, because what happened to the what? Oh, this guy here is asking me about Chinese trucks. 75 mile range electric trucks, 38 horsepower, 1,000 foot pounds of storage. Dude. My wheelbarrow's bigger than that. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I mean, in China, you know, they haul pigs and chickens on their bicycles. So that may be a big deal in China. I haven't I've reviewed any Chinese trucks over there. They, they, they'll haul bamboos, yeah. they'll, they'll take bicycles, and they'll make them these giant barges. It's amazing. So yeah. that might be a big truck over there. I, I can't really I comment think, because I don't know. I think just to wrap up really fast, um, the range is going to ramp, the sales are going to increase quickly because they have a lot of dealerships. Yes. And as soon as those trucks start reaching those dealers, boom, 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 I think they're going to go pretty quick. And I think they've done right because this thing is fast. It's powerful. It's got great payload. Well, yeah, it's got great payload. It's got yeah. great towing capacity, and it's the right. It's the same size as everybody else. I think everything they've done their homework, and that's the weird thing is when they, all the other four or five whatever is already in the market, you can just kind of look at them and say, well, what works over there? Oh, I'll put it on my truck, and that's how they do it. So they should better be selling the crap out of these things because they've had time to do the research, and you know they've got a backlog like me. I've probably owned 10 Rangers in my life. I love the little varmints. Yeah, so. so my question though is do you think the Tacoma, like do you think Toyota should be worried? Will yes. it come in second to the Tacoma? Will it beat the Colorado? I doubt if those Toyota I, folks ever worry about anything. I think yeah, they make a fair. plan. It's 10 years long. It's 100 years long and they stick to that plan and I think they're focused. So I, I you're not going to shake them up. <laughs> That's just how it is. Well, they're, uh, they're introducing an update to Tacoma in Chicago. Yeah, that's right. So the, obviously, the Toyota is listening. Um, I don't think the range is going to take over the number one sales spot in the first year. I think that's going to be really hard to do. Yeah, but maybe in the is. second or third year, yes. they might get there. I don't think it's a year thing. No, it's um, true. That somebody's asking here, Nathaniel Beck um, is asking, what about the new GMC Heavy Duty 84, the off road edition? versus the power wagon. The new heavy duty 84 was just right. unveiled yeah. in San Diego. And, and if it's like the half ton that this is kind of modeled after, mm -hmm. it won't have a winch, it won't have a disconnecting front differential. Uh, so it won't have a front locker. Right, so all those things the power wagon has. So 
I mean, they're they're more related to the, the milder off-road ones, like with Ford FX4 and or oh, the and, Rebel, maybe. Right. Uh, yeah, close to the Rebel. They're really not in the same categories. Yeah. So away. we haven't driven the new Heavy Duty, obviously. They are good looking. I love this one here. The red hooks that go sideways and the hood scoops. I love that hood scoop. That's a good looking truck. Yeah, so, but um, the thing is, I agree with you. It's not going to be at the same level as the Power Wagon, right? Because they don't have any additional height built into the AT4 truck. So it's the same ride height as a regular heavy duty and no lock front locker obviously. Right, so right. it's it's just a package, right. it's not all out off road. It's Tommy wearing a helmet. Beast. What's he doing? Um, are you gonna, gonna hit him again? <laughs> um, there's another news that Ram um, high output Cummins was certified by the EPA because the Didn't government the EPA that. agency yeah. was closed due to shutdown, but now the latest news is that biggest Cummins has been approved. It's coming in, and it's going to go on sale in the second quarter. Well, that's good. That'll make year. everything level out so people get back online and get stuff built, and then, you know, really wait for it. Do, uh, there's a question here. Do I remember the Yugo? Um, yes, I remember the Yugo. I remember the Yugo. <laughs> I do a lot of mailmen out the country um, that, that bought Yugos. They didn't go, but they were Yugos. People people are saying uh, that TFL <laughs> should buy a Yugo. I think so somebody should buy one. Uh, well, we'll look into well, it. Well, is that the Russian one? The no, Yugo? no, it's Yugoslavian. Yugoslavian. Oh, yeah. I get all those foreign um, countries messed up. Gary just donated ten bucks. Oh, right, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Oh, <laughs> Chip, he's flying. Where did the wings go? Uh, thank you for your courage. Um, I'm not thank sure exactly your what you're courage. referring to, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, you look um, courageous. I guess I, I need more coffee. Um, we don't have any coffee. Where's my coffee? I'll make you some coffee, okay, but I'm, I'm coffee. running out of time writing people's names down. Oh, would you hurry can, up? Can you go to the next question? Okay, please? okay. Uh, it's the, from Sterling. Sterling, tow vehicle. I'm in the market for a new tow vehicle and would like some feedback based on your experience. I'm a purchasing a 28-foot enclosed race trader. Oh, I love those. Seven-foot high walls. It's eight and a half feet wide. Looking for a tow vehicle for it. Uh, trader's weight should be 75 to 8,000 pounds. I'm always careful about weight. I use weight distributing. It's good for you. We want you to be safe on the road. I am a sales rep and will be out 55,000 miles a year, spend time in cities, uh, to about 10,000 miles. So, so that many the, miles. The reason, working out hard, you'd be in more miles. The reason why I love this question is that it combines high mileage situation. So Sterling says that he drives about 55,000 miles a year. Yeah. And he tows a lot. He goes to racetracks towing 10,000 miles a year. Uh, the trailer, he's saying, it weighs about 8,000 pounds. Yeah, he could do with an Expedition or a Yukon XL if to get the bigger engines in the Yukon, get the 16. Yeah, but here's my issue. Well, not my issue, my concern. So because of the high mileage, 55,000 miles a year, um, it almost sounds like a heavy duty um, diesel truck. Because For 8,000 pounds? No, but where I'm coming from is, um, the amount of abuse he's putting the truck to, you know, 10,000 miles towing, 55,000 miles well, 10, driving. 10,000 miles towing is not a lot. That's really not much. You I mean, think he could I, go with an XL, maybe Yukon? I think, well, you know, let's see. I'm trying to get the rear so, suspension. It's an independent suspension on the Expedition. It's a model beam, maybe with air suspension on the Yukon. He can get yep, that, which will yep. level you out. Yep. So, I mean, and with weight distributing hitch on the Expedition, I think you'd be fine. 8,000 pounds, what, what's the max rate on the Expedition? So it's around 9,000 pounds, actually. So That's why you're saying it's so close They're, to they're approaching miles. those levels. I, I understand that, because, um, yeah, now you're looking at but, the payload and No, all but that. here's the thing. We've done a lot of tow tests with the XL, Yukon right, XL, right. and the Expedition. Yes. We usually tow about 7,000 pounds with a, what? well, we have a 20-foot trailer floor base, so 24 feet with a tongue, right? Sure. Um, and the Yukon XL and the Expedition do great. Yeah, with 7, 7, 000, pounds. but we're talking 11,000 feet, 7% grade, the eye gauntlet, right? Yeah, but, but this is a lot of miles, so what? I think you need something heavier. Something heavier. Uh, that's my take on it. Oh, jeez. Uh, you know, that's what diesels are actually well, meant we, to. And we don't know if he's driving on flat lines, if he's from Kansas, or if he's in no, the mountains. No, we don't know. So that would but, make a difference, too. If you're in the mountains, yeah, I probably would go with a heavier truck. If you're not in the mountains, if you're in Kansas or, you know, Nebraska or parts of Oklahoma or Texas or I could name off you know 30 states that you'd be fine yeah you mean name off all 30 states I no no hear. thank you no but no, please, yeah please that's don't. that's how I would look at it so yeah that that's your goal now is to find out give us give them homework are you in mountains or are you in flats the that only would kind of be a big part of the factor the only trade-off here if he, if this truck is a daily driver 
right? Which it sounds like it will be also, yes. including the towing. Yes. Uh, three quarter ton. Well, it's not. Although the new ones oh. are getting better and better, oh. right? Oh, now hold the phone. He says his wife wants an Expedition or Yukon XL. Okay, you it's buy over. the Expedition or the <laughs> Yukon XL. That's all there is to it. No question. Okay, the wife wants it. You the, get it. The wife. Uh, we don't argue wives. So go for the uh, most luxurious, most comfortable. SUV. You're right. Absolutely right. There you go. That's simple. Um, th th there's another question here before we take some um, chat questions as well from Mike. And this is a very quick question, very simple. Um, how come the Ford F-150 Power Stroke does not have the big fuel tank option for 36 gallons? Damn good question. Ford, or if you're out, I know Ford watches all of our stuff. They just told me that yesterday. They watch all of our videos. Ford? Put a bigger tank on the diesel, damn it. I know it gets a little better fuel mileage, but all these guys are these, I mean, look at Ram. Ram is these little baby tanks and people complain about them. Ford, don't be on the complaint list. Get the bigger tank option real soon. Whether it's a 19 or a 20, I want that bigger tank and that diesel. Can I raise my hand? Yes. Um, oh, you're part of the Ranger thing? <laughs> no, 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 I just wanna, uh, my, my, I don't know exactly. Ford hasn't, you know, given me, given me all the technical details. But they have the death tank. Yes. And I'm afraid the death tank is in the way somehow. You know, because the death tank and the yeah, fuel you're tank are to sound there. like GM. Yeah, let's stick that death tank down below the frame. No, See if it no. drags off this time. No, I'm not saying put the death tank lower. <laughs> I'm just saying well, maybe, it's a, away. maybe it's an actual physical problem where the bigger tank and the death tank don't fit together. Maybe it's a, a solution. But that 26 means, gallons, I agree, is not enough. Now, you know these are engineers. Yes. They have like three CAD computers and 3D print, all that stuff. They can make it work for crying out loud. Make a little, oh. make a little U in it and go over the drive shaft or something. You can do it. Okay. So please consider it. Um, any questions or comments, Zach, from the chat room that we should? Uh, Twenty-seven degrees below zero. Did you see that, in Chicago? We were yesterday. Yes. Was, we were in Detroit. It was eleven below. I couldn't smoke my cigar. My lips froze to the cigar. <laughs> my face. I couldn't feel it. I can only stay after 10 minutes, yes. and then I had to limp over to the to the hotel. Uh, yeah, so when we're going to be in Chicago next week, I'm hoping it's going to warm up a little bit, because it's dangerously... Oh, I'm sorry, Tommy, is that you? She just hit him with another donut. Uh, uh, here we go. Oh, oh, Holy cow. Um, so, any other questions, Zach? Yes. Um, Ryan Kretman was asking, he's looking at a uh, mid-condition... 1997 F-250 single cab long bed 4x4 with the 5.8 liter for $8,000. Should he pull the trigger on that? What year? 97. 97. Oh, I love 97s. They got actual rain gutters and vent windows. And that was the last year of the heavy duty. It's not for a super duty. How much? 8,000? 8,000. Which engine? 5.8. Oh, is this a, this is a 150 then? Uh, so, he says F-250. I don't know enough about I the price of the car. I know they had a lot of 460s. They had the 73 keys. Maybe they did have. Yeah, if that's because that's the old body style. That was actually heavy duty. I would before say. Before they made super duties. Right. 8,500. You know, well, what's what, are, what, what do you see on well, Craigslist and Auto yeah, Trader? Do some extra do research. Do some research to see what's close to that. Because it's really hard without us doing research to be giving you good advice. I mean, it sounds good, but. Look and see what the local trucks are selling. Call up a few dealers by you that might have. I mean, that's the tough part is, you know, the one that's really valuable back then has a 7.3 diesel mm -hmm. and a crew cab. I mean, that's a really high demand. Do you have, do you, is this you, a crew cab or is it a super cab? No, regular. Oh. Um, well, those are a few more of the 5.8 because I don't. Yes, I, I I've, don't had, I've had 5.8s. I've had 5.4s. Five 5.8 uh, five five is things. basically 5.8. Is that a 351 or it's not the 360, is it? Is the 5.8 the V10? No, no, no that's, that's a 6.8. Okay. There's a 6.8. Oh, okay, sorry. Right. So throw some, uh, some donut at him. He doesn't know he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't donut. know. What anyway, uh, any other questions? Oh, look, we got $9.99 from Skyder Marshall. I'm so excited. Nice. <laughs> I'm thinking about, about buying a new or used truck next year, and I'm looking at the Taco or the Colorado as a daily driver. Which one would be better on gas? Don't really need a lot of towing. Boy, so the Tacoma uh, with a V6 and an automatic uh, six-speed um, gets pretty good mileage, actually. It's what, 3.5? Yeah, 3.5 liter, uh, the current one. We don't know what's going to happen in 2020. 
but if you get a Colorado with a diesel, obviously that costs a lot more, but the fuel economy is a lot more. Yeah. Up to 30 mpg. Uh, well, that's not a drive. diesel. What was that cost you? That, that's your that's like four grand. Yeah, that's extra. four grand. You divide that so, by a few miles, and it so takes a while to pay off four grand. And that's the Colorado, I mean, the, both the Tacoma and Colorado have really good resale value. And we're gonna we're doing another video on TFL now uh, this week that talks about the resale value. Um, so both of them have really good resale value. I'm more comfortable as in a Chevy Colorado. So if you're taller. Um, I would recommend the Colorado if because they're really comparable yes, on MPG. Yes, I fit Colorado really well. I was very comfortable in those. I would get a Colorado if comfort is your key. Uh, do, Andre, do you agree with Roman or Nathan on electric truck talk? Well, what did they say? Um, they so say. we published a video on TFL truck this morning. Okay. And Roman was really for the electric truck future, and Nathan was saying he was very skeptical. He was saying that we haven't seen any electric trucks on sale already, right? Yes. Um, I'm a high tech guy. You know, I like high, I like high tech, um, latest tech, so I'm for electric trucks. Um, but you know, Nathan had a point. We don't we haven't driven one yet. Right. Well, right. Yeah. So so as soon as we get more, see more, I'll be on. I'm gonna be on the bandwagon for electric trucks. I'm not saying get rid of all V8s. Right, I, I think it's the um, future. I think it's coming, that's but, my opinion on But it. I think there's always going to be two camps. There's always going to be that internal combustion gas, diesel, that's trucks true. It's true. for decades. You know what we could do? What? We go to the railroad tracks, find a, an engine that's parked by itself, and see if they'll let us drive it, because they're a diesel hybrid. They are electric, the trains. powered yeah, by yeah, a generator. So that's yeah. an electric train. All these puppies, if we can go take one of those and just see how it you heard Celerates. it here first, train we, reviews. We want to do a train review. Um, no, but I'm for electric trucks, but I, I don't think they'll, they will displace internal combustion engines for several decades. Well, yeah, because you know everybody loves their V8, that the sound of it. You're going to be fighting an uphill battle, but and there's so many used trucks out there, millions of them, so you're right. It, it'll take away, it all depends on the price. You know, it's usually going to be, like the semis, it'll be a lease because it'll be expensive. The corporations will buy it, and... I don't know what they'll do with them when the lease is expired. Maybe they'll sell them at auction. We'll get a chance to get one. Mm -hmm. But there are so many variables there. I think it's the future. I think we can't stop it. I think it's coming. I mean, I'm looking forward well, to I'm that, excited that, because that hybrid that I can trade my truck off in about three years is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'll have something that I can actually use. All right. 15 bucks for <laughs> Gregory, Gregory Miller. Uh, please read Janice's question way above. I think she's on the other side of the pond. Um, um, I was going to get to that, so it's actually a car question. Okay, let, can um, we, let's see if we, we can answer. talk about cars. I want to buy a used car as my first car. What would you suggest? Um, you? I don't want to pay that much taxes, so I guess he wants an inexpensive car. Well, how much is that? I doesn't say. Um, and across so which pond? We need, I don't know what's available in England. I mean, Janice you know, is what, in Belgium. Well, well, what you, I mean, that's really weird because I have a guy from Norway and I'm talking back and forth with, and he's telling me that if he buys like a 150, it'll cost him $150,000. Then he has to take the back seats out, and there's a bunch of more things. I mean, it, I, yeah, I, I have no idea what Belgian it's, laws are. It's crazy. Well, there are so, different vehicles over there as well. Yeah, they're different cars. vehicles, they're different yeah. laws. Usually uh, they favor diesel cars, okay. right? Okay. Diesel power cars. But that's the shifting. You know, the, the, the rules are changing. Electricity, electric cars are becoming more and more prevalent, and government is looking, you know, more lenient. Or actually, they're promoting electricity. Yeah, promoting states, electric they cars. Are, they are. They don't. So want to um, I'm, I haven't been pressure. to Belgium ever, so I'm not quite sure exactly what all the laws are. But I would say, actually, a used electric car could be a decent buy if it doesn't have a lot of miles or a lot of years on it. Well, do they have Craigslist and Auto Trader over there? I have no idea how they <laughs> buy vehicles over there. Maybe you just yes, go that's to the supermarket. Is that a store? I don't know. Um, what I'll say about that is those of you in the comments who do have car questions, send an email to info at tflcar.com and we'll ask, uh, we'll answer those questions on what, uh, what car or truck should I buy. On Which is, do I look like a guy who buys cars? Do yes. I look like no, you're not. So that's why we have another show for that. <laughs> we have a different show okay. for that. Okay. Uh, but info at tflcar.com. You can send your car questions there, and we'll handle them oh. separately. Well, look, it says I'm curse words from Roman. I didn't learn any curse. Have I cast yet? Man, I not sure today. Is, it's, 
Not, 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 <laughs> not nearly not as bad today. as we've heard off I'm air. I'm trying to calm down, man. I, they, they got me on sedatives now. Let's see, Andre, you're you are good at not copying their gangster behavior. Wow, oh, he's saying you. that Roman um, and Nathan are gangsters. So super I, duty. I suspected that. I, you know. Huh. I that was, explains a lot. That explains a lot. Um, super duty yeah, news. I like Italian food. Um, stay tuned to next week for f more Ford news. Yeah, we can actually talk. Well, she won't news. be here. Maybe I can work with somebody and, and come in and answer some questions next week. So whatever you guys want to do. But Yeah, we'll be in Chicago on Thursday next week. So um, so I, we won't do a show here, maybe, because oh. we can do one from Chicago and oh. then regroup. Uh, what would you say? Well, Maybe I, Friday? I could, I could get on a phone. Maybe Friday? Yeah. Oh, you do you back wanna, Friday? Do you want to Skype us? Because I'm back Friday morning. Well, then I, I'll be here, too, Friday afternoon. Okay. Maybe we can schedule next that week, for Friday, next Friday. Uh, we'll we did, talk more trucks. Right. We did that last week. We did a Friday, and sometimes we have to, but I think yeah. that would be cool. And you can tell me all about Chicago. Um, and those amazing headlights on that Toyota. They call you Mr. Train now. Oh, now Mr. Train. That's cool. I, want, I love trains. <laughs> I love Look, trains. Let's man. not start another YouTube channel, TFL Train. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, we guys. We're going to do some well, semis here pretty soon. I mean, that's coming. We're going to get into Freightliner. We got some things down the pike you guys are going to love. You wait till the reviews for this year. They are going to be amazing. They are. And um, some Armando, final question. He's asking is, is Ram serious about the TRX performance truck? I think they are serious. Yes, we, they announced they're going to make it, so they can't They've talked out several now. times about it, they said that, yes. that it's coming. We just don't know what, exactly what it will look like, but I think they are very serious. Um, so, as always, go to MrTruck.com. Yes, I, I live there. You, he lives there, I and live there. TFLTruck.com for all your news about trucks. So, we appreciate you joining. Yes, it was a fun day, and the chicken had a good time. And yeah, you know, and thank you for yeah. your support. We love that. That is, that helps us out, because, you know, YouTubers are not rich. Well, some of them are. Those guys, but not super rich. Do you want to play a sad Andre? Oh, should I? Okay. We can just sing. Home, home on the range. Here at the envelope play. Oh, we've got a train museum. Let's go to that train